have reached Dwight's speech confession. Good evening, bitches. 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 Hey, I'm gonna fuck who you is, boy. Get the fuck out of my life. You're showing your cunt flaps. Why would you believe any of that? Well, man, the, the gentleman, he, he's the... The gentleman? Who is the fucking gentleman? Well, ma'am, ma'am, please bring it down a notch. You need to learn proper masturbation skills. I wish your car was at my lot. I would have to fuck you up so man. God bless. It's morphin' time. Morphin' time. Lawsuit time. Loser. Inappropriate. I'll yeah, fucking we'll- talk to you! Wait, you we'll- fucking god fuck girl, call this number again! We're gonna call a uh- Oh, I see the chick in front of my fucking head right now, and I'll fucking put a knife in your fucking throat. Mm, fuck yeah. Look, you piece of car, No, I didn't. Tell you, your mom took the hell out of the benefit truck. Uh, come right this mom. Gathering around to make a prank call. Wow. Your fucking wife loves it when I check her meter. I'm going to get a, I'm gonna get a <laughs> Kohler faucet <laughs> shirt right up your ass. I just got done blowing my boy Dwight and shit. If you were doing your job, ma'am, and you would, you would walk into that room right now and pull out his pants and start jerking him off and showing him. Oh, you fucking dick. Did you fucking say that to me? You fucking asshole. Keep it down. Oh, thank Christ. You're still open. Yes, it's open. Oh, my God. You don't know how many flower shops I've had to call. Uh, I really fucked up and I forgot to get anything for my wife. Uh, okay. Okay, what? You tell me how much the roses are for a dozen. Uh, for a dozen, it's thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Does yes, it come with a vase or anything? Does it have a card? Uh, I have a vase, but it's a di- I have a different price. Oh, it's a different price for the one with yes. the vase. Yes. Yeah, it's uh, uh, I have the four dollars, three dollars, oh, ten dollars. Okay. Okay. Oh, different that's, price. Oh, that's not bad. So listen, uh-huh. oh, I kind of sound like a goat right there. Um, uh, I need to come in. How late are you open? Uh, y- you come in now? Oh yeah, I gotta come in now. Okay, I I waiting for you. So th- th- you say it's it's how much for the roses? Uh, thirty dollars. Uh, if you want a base, I, uh, I have the base. Uh, re- really, price. really, I'll pay you any price you want. This is the second time I've done this to my wife on Valentine's Day. And last year, she slammed my nuts in the car door. Oh, okay. One moment, okay? Oh, it, it was so hard. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Okay, one moment. Okay. Hello? Yeah, hello. Yeah? Yeah, I was asking the, the nice lady if you guys were still open, if how much the roses are. Uh, the price for the roses, the, the dozen is uh, $30. $30? Yes. Does it come with a card? Yes. I'm on my way right now. Can you write that, write the card out for me? Mm, how many roses do you want? I'm going to get a dozen of the red roses. Red roses? Okay. I, I, well, I fucked up again. I forgot last year, and now I forgot this year, too. <laughs> And, la- okay. and last year it was horrific because we went to dinner and she asked me what her gift was and I said, oh, I thought we were just going to go have a nice night. She slammed my nuts <laughs> in the car door. Okay, we'll get your roses okay, ready, okay? Okay, you write on the card. Is this good enough, bitch? <laughs> okay. But make the question mark really, really nice and big. Okay. Okay, because I, okay. I don't need a repeat of last year. Because I okay. already lost one testicle due to the car accident. <laughs> okay. Have you ever um, done that to your boyfriend when he forgot for Valentine's Day? No, I haven't. For- they haven't forgot. They haven't forgot? Well, you sound no. like I'm just a real motherfucker, apparently. I just forget these types of things. Okay. But it's hard for me to remember when I'm just going through all the pain of just my nut. I have that syndrome where I feel the ghost nut because they had to go in and take the other one out. Okay, I I gotta go because uh, there's some 
clients in here? There's clients? Yes. Okay. 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 If you see my bitch of a wife come in there, you need to like just duck or something. She's about 350 pounds. Looks like a goddamn linebacker for the Green Bay Packers. Hello, my motel. Yeah, you got any rooms for rent tonight? Yes, I do. Oh, thank Christ. My wife was going to shoot me. I was supposed to get these reservations for a motel like three weeks ago. Uh, um, what is what? What are your rates? What do you got? Uh, how many people? Well, just me, me and my wife. Uh, one bed for two people goes for $60. 60 Plus a $20 deposit. Okay, are you pet friendly at all? Unfortunately, no. The only pet-friendly place in Pittsburgh is uh, Motel 6. Okay, well, no, I'll just leave him out in the car then. I've got a, I got one of those Rottweilers, and and uh, he doesn't know how to, you know, basically we don't let him out and walk him. He shits and pisses everywhere. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't leave him in the car either here. Oh, I can't even leave him in the car? No. Okay, okay well... I'll, All right. I'll, I'll just let him loose for the night out in the backyard. So, like, uh, when's checkout in the morning? 11 a.m. 11 a.m. Okay, can we do the booking now, or do I do it just when I come in? Uh, you do it when you come in, because we do first come, first serve only cash. Okay, and it's, it's you said it's 60 plus the taxes, and then another 20 for a deposit? Yeah, so $80 total. Okay. Yeah, because I got to... This is the one day a year I gotta make love to my wife. I, I really don't like to, cause like, she's a fuck. She looks like a goddamn linebacker. Okay. <laughs> so I gotta, I just gotta take her in there and fucking pound one out. That's good for you. <laughs> All right. Let me ask you something. I've been looking for someone just to step in for me. Do you do you accept some like credit cards or something? You can step in and we'll turn the lights out. And you pound her out. No. Why? Is it because you're a fucking asshole? Yeah, probably. Well, why are you doing customer service if you're a fucking asshole? Well, because I get to deal with dickheads like you. You don't call it makes, me a it dickhead. Makes my day. You don't call me a dickhead. I'm 45 years old, goddammit. Well, good for you. You have a good night, okay? You, I'll see you in a few, you fucking asshole. Hello. Hi. Uh, you had an ad up on the Craigslist, right? You lost uh, an engagement ring. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, I think I found it. Oh, where was it? Uh, do you know where the? Uh, I found it myself over by the Walgreens. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, where could I meet you? Uh, here's the thing. You found it. I, I fucked up and didn't get my wife a Valentine's Day gift, so as much as I'd like to give it back to you, I'm going to give it to her, but I wanted to just let you know I did no, find it. No, no, you can't give it to her. Please give it back to me. I, well, I, I, I can't. I fucked up, and she's going to divorce me if I mess up again. <sighs> You're kidding. No, but I, I wanted to call and let you know I found it, though, just so you can rest your mind. Well... That's just not okay. I mean, it's mine, and I lost it, I mean, and it's not it, right for you to give to somebody I read the laws. else. I read the laws. If if you get it back from me, then technically we're engaged, you know, legally. Yeah, well, I mean, but you can get engaged without a ring. That's my engagement ring that I've had for 22 years that I want to give to my children. Yeah. I Listen. My wife, she's kind of a bitch. I don't, I don't love her, but I, you know, she's nice to have around. If you toss me a nice piece of ass or something, maybe we have sex. I'll give it back to you. Oh, she hung up. Sounded like she might have been contemplating it. Call her back. Hello. Yeah, how you doing? We got disconnected. I found the ring. Right. I understand that you were just speaking to my wife. Oh, okay. Yeah. She said oh, something about okay. she was going to give so, it to her kids or something. and. Uh, that's right. Okay. That, uh, was, that was the plan. Yeah. The problem is not, where did it's not going to work. Where did you find... So, what do you want to do? Well, 
I told her if uh, maybe we had a little sex, I'd give it back to her. That's what you told her? Uh, yeah, just a few seconds ago. Um, so w- what does that mean for my wife and me? Well, like I said, I fucked up. This is like the second year in a row. I found this thing. I'm going to give it to my wife because I forgot to get her Valentine's Day gift. And uh, But she said, you know, she started giving me the sob story about giving this ring to her kids. And, you know, I said, eh, you know, I'm, I'm not a heartless guy. Maybe she throws me a, a BJ or blowjob or something. I'll give it back. No problems. I'll just take the beating from my wife. But that doesn't make any sense. I... What do you mean? How do we know you have the ring? Want me to describe it to you? Well, you're, you're, you're just going to read the Craigslist ad. No, I'm looking at the ring. That's what I'm going to do. So they you know, sound, there's they no sound way like for me. Good, you sound like you sound like a good uh, exchange or what? Can you can you help me understand this? What are you looking for a for bl- the ring? A blowjob. No, that ain't going to happen. Come on. From her? It's not going to happen? How about from you there, sweet lips? No, I don't think so. Come on, dick lips. Let's you have get a, it done. You, 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 have, you have a good life, okay? Take care. I'm going to call you. I'm going to kiss you. This is Renee. Hi, Renee. Listen, I got some flowers from you motherfuckers earlier. We got a problem. Who is this? This is Dwight. You didn't get flowers for me. Oh, I was yeah. working at... Flowers. Huh? They, the flowers came. I gave them to my wife. You motherfuckers had a bee in the flowers. Stung my wife. Now she looks like a goddamn basketball. You're tripping, dude, because I didn't do any flowers Hey, you don't today. raise your fucking voice to me, bitch. You understand? Hmm. Listen. I didn't do flowers for you today, so I don't know what you're talking about. You've got the wrong florist. Well, it seems to be your problem, bitch. Lion King? Yeah, uh, listen. I'm staying here, and we got a problem in our room. What room is this? Let me tell you what the issue is first here, pal. I'm a little pissed off. Can you say that? What room? What room? And what's the problem? Yeah, here's the problem. Me and my wife are over here. We're having, you know, a nice Valentine's Day. We went out to dinner. We did a little drinking. Now we're in here having some marital bliss. And all of a sudden, we find a goddamn cockroach in our room. And it crawled into my wife's ass. You call the owner of the room, whoever you rent from, call them. We don't deal with whatever happened inside the you, unit. You, you don't keep the cleanliness of this place? Not inside the unit. Well, we we take care fu- outside the no. unit, not yeah, inside the unit. Yeah, we got a fucking pro- Well, I think the cockroach came from outside, asshole. Sir, please call your agent or owner. Talk to them. My no, owner? Well, you think I'm a fucking slave? I ain't no slave, motherfucker. Okay, sir. So you gonna take care of this or what? What room are you? What room is your problem? Yeah, uh, 215. Okay, have a good one, sir. What? That's all you want, you <laughs> son of a bitch? What kind of pizza have with a super delivery or carry out? Now listen, I already had a pizza ordered, and I told okay. you, I told you people, I say, I say pepperoni only, and I say no mushrooms, no mushrooms near my pizza, because my wife, she is, she's, she's allergic. I got one of them heart shaped pizzas. Mm-hmm. Next thing I know, uh, she's blowing up. Uh, she got an allergy. Allergies going on. Her asshole is the size of a basketball. Oh, okay. Um, give me one moment. Did you I'm cut? You no, listen. Did you cut a pizza that had mushrooms on it with the same cutter? Um, I'm not sure. Oh wait, we need to get to the bottom. Oh yeah, of no, this. yeah, we do, we do, we oh, do. Son of a bitch. Yeah, we gotta get to the bottom of this. Okay, give me one second, sir. Make it happen. Thank you for holding this, Jose. Speaking. How can I help you? What's your name now? My name is Jose. Jose, we got a problem here, Jose. Okay, well, tell me what I, or- I ordered one of them pizzas. It was a one topping. Uh-huh. And I ordered it, and I say, no mushrooms. You know, wife has mushroom allergies. I say, no mushrooms. Does the, the, the pizza have mushrooms on it? 
No, there's no mushrooms on it. But she, the lady, okay. she just told me, you guys went and cut my pizza with a slicer that had cut mushroom pizza. Well, we use the same uh, knife to cut all the pizzas. Yeah, she's got mushroom allergies. Now her asshole's the size of a basketball. Look, uh, look. We we use the same knife to cut all, cut all the pizzas. We use the same one. Yeah. Only the way only the only way we don't cut it with the same is when they tell us to to uh, they, they they don't eat meat or they tell us about it and we'll we'll get a, a clean one and then use a, I, a new one. I told one. them. I told them. I said no mushrooms. Wife has mushroom yeah. allergies. I said pepperoni only. No, no, no. And then you when cut it. Take, you cut they... it with the with the same cutter. Yeah, that's why that's why you always do it. Well, that's the wrong way. My wife's over here. No, no, she, that, 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 we cannot be washing the knife every time we cut one pizza. We can't be doing that. My wife, she, her butthole is the size of a basketball now. Yeah, I understand. I understand what you're saying, but the thing is, you gotta let us know you're allergic to mushrooms. I, I let them know. I let them know. Who do you talk to? I talked to a woman that took the order. This was a couple hours ago. I said, "Hey, pizza. I want pepperoni, but you got no mushrooms because the wife's allergic." Right, let me see. It was a delivery or carry out. Let me see who took your order. Was it delivery or carry out? No, it was carry out. I come in. I get the pizza. What? What? What's your phone number? The phone number. Then the phone number. What phone number you got for me? Ah uh, no, you tell me. Well, I don't know. You the one to order. I remember giving them a phone number. I just told them that my name was Richard Slam. You came inside and ordered it, or what? Yeah, I came inside and I waited. And now my wife is Valentine's Day, and like yeah, we got all these problems. The basic thing you do, if you want to talk to RGM, he'll be here tomorrow. You can talk to him. But listen, he'll be here listen, in the morning. we were already having marital problems, and now that we got this issue, and with this the one night a year we have sex, and she only likes anal, and I can't fuck her in the ass now because of this allergic reaction. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I can't do nothing about that. You, know? you think this is a laughing matter? Who's laughing? I'm not laughing. I heard you giggle, you little motherfucker. No, no. I'm sorry? Yeah, I called you a motherfucker. What of it? Thank you for having pizza. Is that speaking? It's with the delivery carrier? Yeah. Listen, where's Jose? This is Jose. Jose, you motherfucker, you hung up on me. If you want to be insulting me, I'm not insulting you, you know. You, you don't want to be talking that way to me. I can't, you can't be talking to me that way. Yeah, but it's not my fault the Pizza Hut hired a motherfucker with a GED and no green card. I'm sorry, sir? I Let me slow it down for you. I'm a little razzled, a little razzle-dazzled. I said it's not my fault that Pizza Hut hired a motherfucker with a GED and no green card. Hello? Uh, excuse me, sir. Do you have some of the Valentine's gift baskets still available? Uh, possibly my wife does. I'm not for sure. And she's out right now. Okay. Is there a number I might be able to contact her at? Uh, no, it's fine. You can call back anytime. She, she should be back here probably within 15, 20 minutes. Uh, what, is she out fucking her boyfriend for Valentine's Day? No, I'm at home. No, no, she's out fucking another man. I'm sure of it. I've got the the sidekick abilities. <laughs> okay, well, she's got her daughter with her, so that's amazing. Oh, that is <laughs> just fucking disgusting, sir. <laughs> oh, my God, the type of things you people must be doing there. All over the world. All <laughs> over the world, not with children, you sick bastards. Oh, yeah, with children, too. Oh, you sick fucker. What's your name? I'm going to report you and send you to jail. Well, you called me. You should have it. Yeah, well, <laughs> you sick motherfucker. I don't have your name. There was no name on the ad. Oh, well, I don't think you'll be getting a Valentine's today, basket. Oh, my wife just returned. Well, let me talk, okay, to, let me talk to that bitch. <laughs> oh, God, this guy won't give me no goddamn baskets. Uh, yeah, I'm here. Hey, let me talk to your wife. Uh, okay, I got off sure. on the wrong foot. My name's Bernice. What's your name? Uh, well, that, that, that just doesn't matter. Just a second. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Yes, you got the Valentine's Day baskets. Yeah. Okay. I want to get one, but I got to tell you, I just called about 20 minutes ago. 
And your husband had another woman with him in there. I heard her in the background. I'd be better off just to fap Thank you, good night. Nice spa. How can I help you? Hi, you do the you. What do you do? You do the waxing there at the spa. No waxing. No waxing. Do you do cuts? No. What do you do there? Just the spa. Just the spa. Is it a nude spa? Pardon? Is it nude or do you wear? Clothes? Yeah, everybody naked. No underwear. Okay. Are condoms required? Today close before midnight. Right now everybody super super busy. Lot of people. Okay, do I need to wear a condom when I come in? Yeah. Right now eight fifteen. Today close before midnight. Twelve o'clock. Oh, okay, so I bring a condom and I just get to fuck whoever's in the spa. Excuse me. Yes. How oh, wide? that you walk through to come in? Um, the door, it is, we can get it to about four, four feet. Okay, because I was telling him, my wife, she weighs close to 650 pounds and she's a big bitch. Oh, the last okay. time I took her out for Valentine's Day, she got stuck in the door and we had to get some liquid butter from the kitchen. Grease her fat ass up just to get her out. Oh wow. Um, the only thing is, it is a we have a staircase. Okay. So she would have to come through the hotel, and yeah, I am not a hundred. Something for a big ass. I would assume the door. It's a double swinging door, so okay. both sides open. What so. What are we gonna do about? Uh, Seating because I don't think one seat's gonna hold her. We can maybe do like a table for four or something. Okay, you got some real strong chairs there then. Um, actually, I mean we have a bench seat. A bench. But it's it is hollow on the ins. It's hollow, hollow on the inside. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure about if the chairs could. I took, her hold out, that much I took her out the Waffle House last week. She broke six of their chairs. And they, and they fucking charged me an arm and a leg. Uh, I don't... Yeah, I don't... I'm not sure about our chairs. I don't okay, think they could is, maybe they, handle that. And we're going to need a place... Uh, is there a table close to the restrooms? No. Yeah, getting to the restroom is going to be pretty difficult because it's a narrow doorway. It's a narrow doorway. Yeah. Okay, well, I, was, I wasn't wanting her to go to the bathroom. She just, she hasn't bathed in quite a while and she stinks something awful. And I was trying to find something to disguise the smell. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. I'm sorry. She just, I don't know, I try to make these nice events for her, but she won't stop running her dick sucker. Yeah, yeah. The doorway. Or we use the hotel bathroom, so it's in like a different, oh. completely different area. All right. Well, we're gonna come down there, but let me give you a piece of advice. Yeah. Don't ever marry a big bitch. <laughs> they make your life hell. I'll take that into consideration. Yeah. Yo, thank you. Because you can't have sex with them, so you try to please yourself and masturbate on Valentine's Day, and they take that right from you too. Oh, yeah. I tell you, you masturbate again, and I'm gonna divorce you. Yeah, that sounds unfortunate, man. I, uh, I try to clean her as best I can, though. I put her in a fucking flatbed and go to the car wash and spray her down real good with the big fucking power hoses. Uh, yeah, that sounds rough. Yeah, but um, yeah. It's, sorry, it's there's another call coming in. When I spray your vagina, it looks like a fucking squid's trying to attack me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, uh, she's a big bitch. Uh, but yeah, I guess um, that's all the information uh, I can give you now. I got sorry, I'm she, a little she's busy. Allergic, she's allergic to pepper. If you pepper. guys dump a whole fucking bunch of pepper into her food, for God's sakes, help an old man out. Um, yeah, probably can't do that. We'd probably get in trouble, but I'm sorry, sir. I gotta misery. let you go. Put or, me out of my misery. 
Yeah. Oh, fuck. Alright. Sorry, I can't help you there. But I have a call coming in on the other line, sir. So I'm gonna have to let you go. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. Hello? How you doing? Looking for Bobby. This is Bobby. Hey, Bobby, you lost an iPad? You have my iPod? Yeah, the iPod there. You have it? Yeah. Listen. I'm gonna oh. I'm gonna be honest with you though, you didn't lose yes. it. I stole it. Okay, well I appreciate you being honest with me. It's my daughter's and it's brand new and this is our very first trip to Hawaii, and it's been so perfect except for losing this. So please give it back. Um, I would, but I, I don't th- this, care was, that this you was, was no 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 no. Listen, settle down, settle down. This is this is just a prank call. I, I don't really have it. I don't want to put you through any more misery. I can see you're rather emotional. If you don't have it, then why no, are you no, calling no. me? Well, I, I thought it was going to be funny. I was going to tell you that I didn't get my wife something for Valentine's Day and that I stole it to give it to her, but you, you're, you're rather tore up about it. I, I didn't mean to cause you this kind of problems. I'm kind of torn in the ass about it now. So you don't have it? I don't have it, no. But I know who does have it. Okay, how can you help me get it back? Um, I, can, I know this guy. His name's Richard Slam. And he's an iPod enthusiast. And he says those golden okay. black ones are really, really rare. Well, my family getting a trip to Hawaii is also really rare. I lost my job right before we came here. I'm not going to be able to get my daughter a new iPod, and I'm not going to be able to come. All right, fuck that. I'm not continuing that shit. That was him. Uh, yeah, how you doing there, Chief? You got the uh, you got the vodkas? What? You got vodkas? Vodka what? Vodka. Yeah, vodka what? How late you open? We... 11, 11 cruise. All right. Listen. Uh, today, uh, today, Sunday, yeah? 10, yeah. 10. 10 o'clock? 10. Yeah, sure. Yeah. You got yeah, Valent- okay. Valentine's Day specials? <laughs> no, no, Sunday we cruise 10. <laughs> nothing special. Oh, uh, nothing special? Yeah. Okay, yeah. listen. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to, no, listen, I'm going to come in just before you close, and I want you to get up on the counter and spread your butt cheeks so we can put some vodka in your ass. Uh, sorry, I don't, I don't uh, understand that much English. Oh, okay. <laughs> do you do you understand? I want to fuck you in the ass. Fuck you? I fuck you, you son of a bitch. Why? <laughs> because you know make special vodka. Special vodka? Yeah. What kind of fucking fucking I, mean? I bought some fucking vodka from you, and it tastes like piss. Oh, really? Thank you. Don't come anymore. Fuck okay. You. No. Fuck you too. Fuck bye you. bye. Fuck you. <laughs> hello. Yes. Papa? Hello. Hello, Papa. Do you do waxing there? I know we don't. Do you do the nails? A nail closed at eight o'clock. Okay. Um. Now is the spa is the spa clothed or unclothed? <laughs> Okay, twenty-five dollars. Okay, uh, say again, please. Do you have what type of amenities do you have at the spa? Okay, it's like Korean spa, like a sauna, spa, jacuzzi. Okay, in the sauna, do you wear clothes uh-huh. or no? In sauna, yes. Sauna is co-ed. Okay. So in the uh-huh. jacuzzi, I can have my dick and balls out. In jacuzzi, yes. It's all man section, woman section separate. Okay, well, I'm going to the woman section. I'm going to get my dick and balls out. No, you can't. I'm going to do it. You can't go to the woman section. First, I'm going to go to the sauna, and I'm going to show my asshole. It looks like an orangutan what? ass. It's all orange. You understand? And please hold. Okay. Oh. Hello, Papa. Let's help you. Yeah, hello. 
I was just asking, because yes, it's, it's my first time coming, and I was just asking the young lady about uh, the amenities there. Well, we have, like, co-ed amenities, swimming pool, jacuzzi, and, like, other themed saunas. Yeah, I, so was, I was asking about the sauna, if you, do you have to wear clothes or no? Do you have to wear the yeah, towel or Yeah, for the what? co-ed area, we give you the uniform. Just a moment. What? Hello? Yes, hello. Yeah, so oh. basically we have a pool and uh, jacuzzi area is co-ed. And we have a different like theme saunas, which is co-ed. We give you the uniform, t-shirt and shirt for you to wear. Oh, okay. And the shower area is separate. Okay. But if you're planning to use the swimming pool, you need to bring your own towels, slippers, and your bathing suit. Okay, um, that's fine because like, I thought this was a place you could be nude. Uh, but she told me no, no. nude is the only section. No, no, no. Nude area is for the showers for men and women separate. This okay. is not a nude spa. Okay. Do you we have a common area, but you have to be dressed in the uniform or the bathing suit for the pool area. Okay. Do you have a uniform for my dog? There's. You can bring a dog here. Oh, it's my service animal. Yeah, service animal has to be maybe um, stay in the lobby or somewhere else, but no, they no, can't go you, into you the can't, spa. You can't tell them that. Service animal goes where I go. It's against the law. You can't tell me that. The dog goes with me and everywhere. Well, I can't give you any um, answer to that question, so, okay? We so, have to so actually have... forward your information to our... Um, Someone, the manager, or somebody else? No, no, it's 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 in the law. It's for the Americans well, with Disabilities Act. Well, I don't know the law Act. that you, about you, the service yeah, you dog. Can't, you can't tell I me I do no not dog. have uh, information about the oh, yeah. service dog. I'm coming law, in, and okay? if you try to turn me away, I sue motherfuckers. You understand? Are you shooting pizza as a pickup or delivery? Uh, no, big problems I need to talk to somebody about. Okay, what's wrong? Well, the pizza, we got a pizza, and it was a one-topping pepperoni. It was just a large. And we're sitting there, we're going to have it for Valentine's Day. It was real nice. We had we had candles, and so we ate the pizza. And we go in, and we go into the bedroom. I put out roses on the bed. I made real nice, real nice ambiance. And next thing you know, we're having sexual relations, and your pizza caused my wife to shit on me. Oh, gave her di- Gave her diarrhea. Aw, don't know what to tell you. Well, I need to know what what you guys put in this that are causing that. (laughs) Because we've had pizza many times from you guys, and this never happens. And, you know, I'm getting a fucking dirty Sanchez over here. Aw, how sad. Too bad. Hey, this isn't fucking uh, comedy be laughing at going ha-ha and shit. This is serious (laughs) stuff. I work as a janitor at DeVry University six days a week. I don't come home to be cleaning shit up. Hello? Yeah, how you doing? You uh, lost that chihuahua. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, listen, I wanted to tell you, it's it's not lost. Um, I forgot to get a Valentine's Day gift for my wife. So I, right. took, I took your dog to give it to her. Really? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh. The, does she still want it? Yeah, I gave it to her already. She loves the dog. Oh, okay. So I, I just thought I'd call and tell you to take your ad down off of Craigslist uh, because it's not lost anymore. You sure? Yeah. Where did you find them? What does that matter? Because we, we couldn't find them at all. Like He disappeared. Yeah. We don't know if someone took him or... Yeah, I, I just said I took him. From where? I took him out of your yard. Are you for real? Yeah. I was in a panic. I was like, shit, Valentine's Day. I gotta get my uh, wife something. I gotta get her something. And uh, I was I was like, oh, f- that fucking dog looks, uh, looks great. I, that's a perfect. So I went and got a think- bag of dog food you- and everything, and I brought it to my wife. I said, here you go, sweetie. Happy Valentine's Day. Do you think we can get him back? Uh, wait, uh, I, 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 we got to negotiate or something. I can't just, you know, yeah, I, I yes, already, I already mean, paid for the dog food. I can't just give him back. I mean, how, how much were you asking for? Uh, 
Well, you know, I did I did make the dog look a little nicer. I dyed the hair on it. What? And I, and I did that mostly because I didn't want, you know, maybe you you see or my wife out in public walking the dog, and you're like, oh, that's our dog, and, you know. So now the dog is brown. No, he was always brown. No, yeah, but dark brown now, not that blonde shit. Oh man! Uh, so how much do a bag of weed? I think we could do a bag of weed. Do you have a picture of him? I've, well, no. I mean, I haven't snapped any pictures yet. The wife's been kind of cuddling with him. That because that we we have it. We had him from Humane Society. Right. Did you have? Uh, a, yeah, did we you have, have a microchipped. We have yes. I'm pretty sure they microchipped him. We have a. We have his papers and everything. Okay, okay, hang on a second. Hey, baby, go get my pliers. We gotta find the microchip and take that shit out. Okay, I'm ba I'm back. I talked to my wife. Is he hello? Yeah. Is he dead? No, he ain't dead. What are you talking about? Where is he? He's over there with my wife. They're sitting on the couch. They're watching uh, the DVR. They're watching The Walking Dead. Can can you send us a picture of him? But why? It's my dog now. I was just letting you know it's mine. Hold, hold on. Please okay. Talk to my wife. Hold on. Okay. Hello? Yeah, hello. Well, um, what's going on right now? Oh, I'm just letting your husband... Is that your husband or your boyfriend? My husband. Oh, okay. Yeah, just letting him know that... Um, I got uh, your dog. I, found, I got the dog. Oh, where did you find him? Or did you take him? I took him. Why would you take our dog? I've been up for 24 hours straight wondering where my animal is. Well, I you know to... he is sick, right? Oh, no. I took him to vet. Got him all checked out. He's good now. Is he okay now? Because oh, I worked three days straight, and when our dog went missing because you took him, I cried myself to sleep. Oh, yeah, because so I told I, him, I told him, you know, I was panicking. I was like, oh, shit, I forgot to get my wife something for Valentine's Day. And so you stole our dog. I took the dog. So you stole our dog because you needed something for your wife. Yeah, and I told him because I didn't want you to recognize him in case my wife takes him out to walk him and stuff. And you're like, oh, my dog, he's now a nice dark brown. What are you talking about? I dyed his hair. How do you fur. dye a dog within 24 hours? Spray paint. You spray painted a dog? Yeah. You know I can call the cops on you, correct? No, no. I See, I took the chip out, too, so you can't prove this is your dog. It doesn't matter. We have his information. Yeah, well, what's... He made society you, you can him? prove what'd that you he's my him? dog. I called him Fluffy now. So you stole our dog, and why are you calling us? To, I was going to tell him to, he could take the ad down because the dog isn't lost. And no, you were not taking the ad down. That's our fucking dog. Okay, listen. I'm I'm just borrowing no, the dog. No, you listen. You're not borrowing the dog or anything. This is my animal. Yeah, I I'm, cried myself to sleep. I'm this give animal him back. lays next to me. Honey Boy is my dog. I'm going to give him back. No, you're not going to give him back. You're going to give him back today, yeah. tonight. No, or I will call the cops. You gotta wait for my wife to fall asleep. And then I bring I the dog back. I don't care. Let me talk to your wife and tell her how you stole our dog. No, you're not telling my wife that. Yes, I am. Because you, you are no. a fucked up person for taking our animal. No. Just because she needed a present. No, if no. If that was the case, you should have fucking done something. You ruined my Valentine's Day because you took my dog. But I, get, I treat your dog nice. Took him to the vet, got him fixed up, and I gave him okay, a nice, and the got reason, him a nice hair. I got him a nice haircut, and I dyed his hair. You didn't get him a nice haircut. He has short fucking hair. Yeah. Okay. I was supposed to take him to the vet yesterday after I finished work, and you took my dog. You had me worried sick. Since yesterday at 6 o'clock, you had me worried sick because you needed a fucking dog for your fucking wife. This is not a fucking game. If you don't bring him back within an hour, I will call the cops and yeah. report you. Okay, but uh, yeah, I'll, when, where? There's no bottom line. There's no explanation. I will call the cops. Your husband wanted a picture. Um, where should I send the picture to? To this number that you're calling right now. Okay, send a text picture. Uh, that's how you're supposed to send it, correct? 
I, I don't know. I'm, I don't know the technologies. Like I say, if I knew technologies, I would have dyed the, the dog's hair nice, but I had to use the spray paint. And why would you think spray painting an animal is, is a smart idea? I covered his eyes. It's like putting them in a tanning booth. No, it's not. It's literally burning their skin with chemicals. No, no, that's incorrect. You literally could have fucked up his fur no, by you, doing you that. You don't know the science. It's because you're a woman. Because I'm a woman. No, I've had fucking dogs all my life. Uh -huh. Spray painting a fucking dog can fuck with their skin. You could have caused more damage than he already has done. Because um, you were stupid enough to spray paint a fucking dog with chemicals that are used for concrete and other fucking non-human objects. Okay, and listen, I didn't have, like, the proper dog food. How many chocolate chips are you supposed to feed a dog in a day? Either you send, either you stop fucking around right now, or I will call the cops. Okay. Um, End of discussion. If I don't receive a picture within five minutes, I'm calling the cops. A picture? I'll, I'll, I'll take a picture. Then take a picture. Okay. Hello. Uh, good evening. Looking for uh, Sebastian. Speaking. How you doing? This is Dwight calling from. Saw so you sent a tweet to us about some spotty service. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, what can I help you with tonight? Uh, well, you can make the connection stable. I've been spending my time resetting the cable box, trying to get a stable connection. So sometimes I do have 60 megabytes, uh, which I pay for 75. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I have 10 megabytes. Uh, Sometimes I have no connection at all. Actually, most of the time today. Uh, and I was told that, you know, if I wanted the full speed, I need to connect the device, which in the 21st century is quite awesome because no one does wire anymore, uh, especially in Silicon Valley. And being a techie, it's very frustrating to have to mostly reboot your cable box every hour so you get a connection, you reclaim a new IP address and everything. And it's been getting worse, actually, since I talked to someone yesterday, and the guy checked the MAC address, and uh, said, we'll do something, we restarted the box like I did, and uh, it's, it's even worse. So I stream movie on my Apple TV, and I can't even watch movies. Okay, and now, the 21st century, it's when, quite you went, when you went through the uh, troubleshooting in the past, have you uh, uh -huh. checked the, uh, the flux capacitor at all in that modem? Uh, well, it's one of the bugs that's been rented, and they did a test check yesterday, and apparently they find nothing. Yeah, but um, they, they had you reset the flux capacitor. What is the flux capacitor? Is that like a Back to the Future? No, 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 no. See, they took that from a real term. It's it's a real term. It's what goes into our modems. Uh huh. And what is the flux capacitor on a modem? Oh uh, well, it goes through a process. You know how they have you unplug the uh, modem completely. Uh huh. And then you disconnect it completely, and then you got to put yeah. it in the microwave for thirty seconds. Okay, that so, sounds great. So if you want to go ahead and do that, I'll wait on the phone. In the microwave? Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. That All sounds right. great. I'll, I'll hang on the phone. You 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 realize like I'm a tiki. You realize that, right? Yeah, but you also you, you sound French. Like, yes, I do. And and is that a reason to just like mostly like bullshit at 10 p.m. and tell me a flex capacitor and put something in the microwave? Sir, I'm just doing my job. I'm trying to get you taken care of, but you're being kind of an asshole. I'm not being an asshole, sir. I'm just telling you the truth, which is I'm paying for a service every month. I'm paying more than $200, $200 a month for a service, and I am, don't have anything. And if you do work for social media, you should check the number of followers I have on Twitter and the expand and reach I have on social media. And I'm going to slam you again. Sir, I'm going to tell everyone you just call me an asshole. Being a French techie. I am a customer. I am a customer. And I'm telling you that the service I'm getting at my home does not work. Yes, sir. And I am sir. telling you that I... Sh sir. And, and you, should be, you should be, okay, we're going to try to fix it or we're going to try to send someone instead of calling me an asshole. Do you realize what you just did as a customer service uh, rep? Sir, I, I, sir I, just, I just spoke to my supervisor, uh, Mr. Gordo. 
Uh, he said being a French techie yeah, right. let, let, is like oh, no, saying oh, no. you're let a retarded say noble oh, no, laureate. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, no, because my, my roommate, Bruce Marx, is telling me something that's pretty funny, right? What? He's telling me that that bullshit is going to stop right now. French are not being French. I'm a U.S. citizen, sir. And Show I did me your serve papers. that country. And I did serve that country, okay? I'm a veteran of the fucking U.S. military and French military. I serve in Yugoslavia. The what fuck did ever you do happened for your country, in Yugoslavia? Sir? What did you do for your country, sir? Sir, I masturbate every day for, for this country. country. So you're calling me French and an asshole. What is this your is green card number? This is scandalous. This is scandalous. Give me your name. I want your name. My name I is want Dwight. Your name. My name is Dwight. What? Dwight. Bullshit. I want your real name. Dwight. D W I G H T. Dwight. Okay. Yes. I want a number. You want a number. number. You want a phone number? I want an employee number. Oh, an employee number. You get a pen and I'll tell you an employee ID number. I have a pen. Okay. The pen is going to write my employee ID number. S is in Sam. P is in Paul. 3. R is in Randy. M is in Man. Yeah. And I'm going to shoot that spam in your ass. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I need a room for tomorrow. Okay, let me transfer over to reservation tonight. Okay, they can help you out with that. You, what rooms do you have available for eight dollars? Uh, we have no rooms available for eight dollars. Can I sleep in the janitor's closet? Sure, if you can get keys to it. Oh, no, I got a lock pick. No, that's you can try to do that as well. Cause I work as a janitor at Devry, so that doesn't bother me to sleep in there. Oh, okay. Because I'm like just wandering around the hallways right now, and but there's no no rooms. So, like... Okay, and I, what uh, what floor are you on right now? Sir? I can figure out a place safe for tonight, but then I can come back tomorrow after I go to the bar. And okay. I can do, what floor is the janitor's closet on? Oh, I don't know. Because I... Be well, you. you know, where well, is what it? What floor are you on, and I can tell you what floor it's on. I'm on the second floor right now. I'm just kind of wandering. You know, like the, the, the people, the old people that go to the malls, and they do uh -huh. the speed walking, and that's... Kind of what I'm doing now, but it's it's oh, a trip when uh, you've been drinking. You go, oh, you, you sure. go like I'm, six, seven vodkas I'm, in, and oh man, I'm pretty sure. Did you need assistance? No, no, I'm good. Oh, okay. I'm just fine, trying to find a place to stay. I'm just okay. knocking on random doors, and like the last three people told me that I was a nice person, but I couldn't stay. And I offered, <laughs> I offered them the eight dollars, and they said no, and they said no. No. Yeah, I, I mean, you could try the holiday, and I'm sure that they might be. I I went and got a tie, and like I I tried to comb my hair, but all I had was a branch from one of the trees, and so it doesn't look right. And I got a few like little needle, little pine needles in my hair, and so I go and I went to the ice machine, and I had a tie, and I tried covering up where the name tag would be, and I said, "Hi, I work at the front desk." Can I stay in your room tonight? Here's $8, and they tell me no.